twirling past temptation. Musings on conquering emotional eating. Ah, emotional eating. Now there's a dance many of us has taken a spin with, right? And let's be honest, it's not exactly a waltz of joy. It's more like a cha-cha with a partner who steps all over your feet and leaves you in less than a stellar mood. So how can we break up with emotional eating and find a healthier way to cope? Listen, at my youthful age of 70, I've come to appreciate the spice of discomfort. Oh, you heard me right. Discomfort is that zesty ingredient that makes us squirm, but also helps us grow. Here's the kicker. Instead of diving into that pint of ice cream or munching through a bag of chips when stress or sadness strikes, let's take a step back and embrace the discomfort. Feel it. Acknowledge it. And ask yourself, what in the world is really going on here? When you stop to listen to your emotions, rather than stuffing them down with food, you begin a dialogue with your inner self. It's like saying, hey there, feelings. I see you're trying to crash my party. Mind telling me what you're so worked up about? Once you've identified the emotion, try a different dance. Take deep breaths. Go for a walk. Meditate. Or even call up a friend for a good old chat. Make discomfort your dance floor and twirl around it until you find your rhythm. Hey, life is way too precious to be spent in a food coma of regret. Let's switch that narrative, invite discomfort to our table, and have a hearty conversation with it. Trust me, it's a chat that can open doors to a healthier, happier, and more ageless you. Are you ready to groove with discomfort? Put on your dancing shoes and let's tackle emotional eating. One brave step at a time.